You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, never here for Drake Wing Gaming. It's Sony Mouse, one of the gaming drag. Today I'm coming back at you in the Let's Play episode of Kibbleton U. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome awards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you were up and let's go. All right. <clears throat> You've been chosen to take on the role of the tragic character Oedipus. In one key scene where you, Oedipus, find out that you've killed your father, you hear a cry, you hear a cry coming off stage and stop. No, no, Nary, where's the emotion? You just found out that you've killed your own father without knowing it. The horror needs to be more. Let me show you. One second, y'all. Alright, all good, we're back. Let me show you. The professor falls to his knees and cries out in anguish. Anguish of how he could have done, how he could, and how he could have done such a deed. Mother! Tears and snot run down the professor's face with such intensity you wonder if this is even acting anymore. After class, you have free time. There's still the matter of the interview with Fortis at the gym to be done. What will you do today? Unf, 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 unf. Wait. What you say about? Jim, uh, okay. Exclamation point is story, and that is missable content. Okay. Go to student lounge. All right. King is hanging around the student lounge, but this time you see he, you see he has his hands full talking to two students. They appear to be on an attack as King keeps his hands up to shield himself as they force him to back up into the wall. Look, that Professor Asterius is a joke. Everybody knows he's a self-centered prick that just loves making his students squirm to get through his class. It's an ego trip. That's why the university needs, needs to know how much of a creep he is. <clears throat> Guys, uh, all I asked was what's new. Besides, I can't just make such a... I can't just make such a piece without evidence. We are the evidence. Why else would he, why else would he make us do so many reports and just grade us with C's every time? I pay good money for those reports. I bet he gets off. I bet he gets off on the power difference. I heard it from Ashton, who heard it from Sh Sally, who swore they saw the professor accidentally bump into Ginny's behind. Guys? First you have to report it. Where's your journalistic integrity? Yeah, do it, King. This is what the news is for. King hits the wall behind him. There's no escape. The alpha, the alpaca, frantically turns between the two of them, his lips quivering as his half-open mouth makes no noise. Intervene. <laughs> the two students approach closer, leaning their faces closer to him. King is backed into a wall, his legs trembling. Hey! A yell pulls the duo's attention away from your friend. You pull out your phone and activate the camera. There you go. I hate to do this, but if you want your harassment to go viral, I'll do it. Ah, fuck this. Let's go. The duo walk away, allowing you to approach King. You okay? Yes, thank you for your help. That was a really freaky situation to be in. What was going on back there? I was just asking around if anyone heard anything newsworthy. Then they went on and on about Professor Asterion. No, not that. I meant the stuttering and the shaking. It looked like you were having a panic attack. He avoids your gaze and pushes his, pushes his forefingers together. I clam up when people get all aggressive near me. Oh, that's okay, I guess. People get nervous when confronted by someone else. King shakes his head. No, it's not okay. It's one of the worst things to happen to have as a journalist. He hangs his head in shame. Don't give up. You'll figure it out eventually. Do you really think so? Mm -hmm. Plus, we can practice with each other along the way. A small smile breaks across King's face. I'd like that. Hmm. I can feel it calling in the air. Okay. Invite King to your dorm. Woo. You aren't close enough to King to do that right now. Well, fuck. Head back home. With that, King leaves. You spend some time at the student lounge before heading back to your dorm to rest for the day. What's that? Option. Well, let's save that, and then let's see what that other option was. Jim! Alright. 
After a quick change into your gym clothes, you head to the campus gym. It's a decently sized one floor building separated from the main campus. From the main entrance, you only need to go to the far right and then you find a gray building. The entrance is covered in a tinted glass which limits visibility to what's inside. A piece of paper is stuck on the door. It reads, Student Gym. Please use your student ID to enter. Down below in several lines in bold, in bold reads, Don't disrespect the gains. Wipe your sweat off. And if you have to drop the weights, then your shoulders need work. You snap a picture of the gym entrance with your phone. A quick touch of your ID on the security scanner next to the door and you're in. The scent of lemon pledge and pepper hits your nose upon entry. Interesting choice for an air freshener. Gentle cool air from the air conditioning unit around the interior blows against your fur. Oh, big boy. The gym is mildly packed with about five people working out around one person. And one person stands out amongst the crowd with his domineering height and bulging muscles. As you approach him, the height, the height difference between the two of you becomes more apparent. Standing near him, you catch a bit of his conversation with the others. Chonky Husky. Coach, yeah, think I'll be ready for the powerlifting competition next month? Fit looking rapid. Fortis, I got this new protein shake. It's all organic. I thought you might like to try some. Oh, Slender Giraffe. Oh. Uh, coach, uh, check out this video I found online. They say the routine is the best for gains. Ooh, excuse me. Water time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, guys. Let me finish Seth's session first. It ain't fair if I don't give my all to your sessions. Fortis's hand gestures to an orange tabby cat trying to lift a weightless barbell. Barbell bar. Barbell bar. And then the Doberman notices you. Oh, hey, a new face. Seth, uh, you can handle some reps on your own. The cat lying on the bench lets out a stuffy yes and continues lifting. The other gym goers happily return to their workout routines while Fortis heads to you. His massive stature casts a wide shadow over you. Hey, bud, you ready to get a workout in? Hi, uh, nice to meet you. Your neck cranes upward slightly to meet the eyes of the smiling Doberman. He radiates an intimidating presence with his gold chains and snake-like tattoos. Nice pythons, man. The dog brings his arms close into the most muscular pose. Thanks, dude, I appreciate the compliment. He ends his flex to extend a handshake to you. This your first time, bud? The name is Fortis, and I'm the manager slash personal trainer here. You shake his hand, taking note of how the Doberman's larger hand practically covers yours. Yeah, I'm Mary. I'm actually from the news from the newsbinding club. Fortis's eyes light up with light up with a realization. <clears throat> One second, I'll plug this in. Okay. Oh, I know that club. You must be a friend of Kobu. He mentioned joining a new club during his last training session. Yeah, that's us. I'm here to ask if you'd be willing to sit for an interview. For us to do a segment about you in the gym? Interview, huh? I'm not that good with words, but I wouldn't say no to getting the word out to the gym is here. I'm pretty sure the highlight would be you, Mr. Fortis. Call me Fortis. I ain't for stuffy titles, and sure, I'd be happy to give you an interview on one condition. What is it? Join me for a gym session. What better way to describe how good that gym is than letting you try it out? Agree. Oh, sure, man. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm up for it. And I'll see you around seven. I'll see you around seven tonight. You nod. Thank you for the opportunity, Fortis. Like, Coach Fortis, g g can I get some help here? Your conversation is cut short as the previous cat seems struggling to lift the barbell. Barbell bar. Oh shit! Gotta go. See you later. Fortis rushes over to help the student out. Fortunately, no one got hurt. It doesn't take long before the other gym goers start to crowd around him again, pining, pining for his attention. You leave for your dorm until your appointment time approaches. When you return to the gym, it's already getting dark outside. All you have on you is your towel, a water bottle, and your phone. Inside, inside, Fortis is sitting on a bench. He greets you with his warm smile. Hey, bud, I'm glad you can make it. Ready to warm up? There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought we were going to do the interview first. Why not both? You gulp as you stare at the muscular dog, waiting to get sweaty with you. All right, I guess. What about my stuff? Great, and don't worry about them. We have the locker room, but since it's just us tonight, just leave them near the wall, and just don't forget to pick it up. He stands up to take a good look at you. Your outfit looks comfortable enough. The Doberman's attention makes you blush as you give his body another long look up and down. Okay, uh, where do we start? Uh. Excuse me. Stretching. I always start with a few minutes of stretching. That sounds reasonable. He immediately bends over in front of you, touching the top of his right foot and holding the position. Once you stop staring at his muscular ass, you follow the instructor's lead and assume the same pose. 
As you lean over while keeping your leg extended, you start to feel the tightness of your tendons resist. After a moment, Fortis switches to his other leg and you do the same. You look up to see Fortis staring back at you from between his legs with a smirk on his face. All right, now raise your arms straight up and then back down. Being unaccustomed to such thorough to such thorough stretching, your body is already aching in its attempt to be lumber. Still, the sh still the show the Doberman has just has just put on just put on is worth the discomfort. Now we're ready. The man is brimming with energy. You hope you can keep up with what is to come. As promised, I said to do your interview if you work out with me. I'll take your question at the bet. Questions at the bench. Very well. I'm not as strong as you. No problem. We'll just start you out with a barbell and a little weight. At a nearby weight bench, Fortis adds a couple small plates to each of the bar. All right, buddy, get into position. You lay down on the bench as Fortis stands at the ready to spot you. Grabbing the bar, you take a deep breath as you lower the weight. The instant it comes off the rack, you feel the full weight of the metal upon your limbs. <laughs> How heavy is this thing? 30 kilograms of the bar. Holy! Take it slow. I'm here to make sure you don't hurt yourself. The bar goes down. Keep your arms at 90 degrees. You adjust your arm positions as you bring the bar down and push it back up. You repeat the motion another 10 more times before stopping. Panting heavily, you sit up. Good job! You turn to him. Okay, let me... Wow, that was tiring. But I feel fresh, too. See? Working out is fun, all right. All right, let's swap. Ask me a question, then we'll get back to lifting. You make a note to commit to memory what you discussed today. Well, well, well if anything goes, goes off, you can ask him again any time. Okay, so maybe some basic particulars, like who are you? Uh, where are you from? What led you to take this job? Well, the name's Fortis Bear Bearmont. I hailed from Kibbleton, actually, before my family moved to Sydney, currently single and ready to mingle. Ha ha ha. You chuckle. I made a living as a professional bodybuilder, then a school teacher before moving back here. That's what a friend of mine who runs a bar here told me about the position. I applied and BAM! I'm here! Okay, back to the reps. This time I want to see if you can bench more. You nod. After Forrest had several more heavier plates, you lie back down. Once more, you do another 10 reps on the bench. This time, you don't get up. Instead, you focus on the sight of Fortis's pecs jutting out. Gulping, you proceed with your next question. So, what are your plans for this evening? Hmm, well, the university just wants a place for its students to stay healthy, so I'm more than happy to be a personal trainer and win for a fee. There you go. Good music. We have to pay? For my one-on-one -on -one sessions only. It's much discounted compared to what you'll get outside. Nice. Uh, how much experience do you have as a trainer? I saw the other students were really keen on getting your opinion. Fortis laughs. I'll answer that after your last rep. Come on! You clap your hands and ready yourself for another set. This time you feel the tightness forming around the inside of your chest as you lift the bar. Yeah, you're doing it! Keep it up! Sweat pours down your head. By the fifth repetition, however, you feel your right arm twitching as though all the strength in it has suddenly been sapped away. Fortis grabs hold of the bar. Whoa, hey there! Looks like we found your limit for today. He helps you set the bar back. You sit up on the bench and turn around to look at Fortis. But the buffed overman in your own nose twitches in the presence of a strange scent. It smells like something one will find in a typical gym. Similar to sweat, but not quite. You can't seem to shake the odd smell. It's sweet, pleasant, and at the same time energetic. All thoughts about the interview leave your mind, and it's place of the swelling desire for sex. The gym also feels a lot warmer than when you first entered. It could be from the workout, was it? Fortis also seems to tilt his head in confusion and gives the air a couple of sniffs. Huh, I think I need to have the custodians clean this place twice a day. You try to focus on Fortis's face, but the heat is steadily rising. His features seem to get more alluring as the seconds tick by. All right, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. I'm going to go ahead and go, y'all. I'm tired. Y'all have a nice night. I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.